Well, depression is another weapon they use to destroy our masculine energy, right? That's another mm -hmm. weapon they use because the majority of depressed people are men. Men suffer from depression more than females yep. because because a man's life is worse than a female's life. Facts. A man's life's much harder, right? Facts. So another way they destroy us is they they convince us to be absolutely selfish. That's all they're trying to do is convince you and teach you to be extremely selfish. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna say this right here, right now, because there's a whole bunch of famous people, Lincoln Park and whatever, whatever. They killed themselves. If you have children and you kill yourself, you're not a man. I don't care what you're feeling. I don't care how sad you are. You have children mm -hmm. to take care of. You're going to embarrass your children. You're going to leave your children without a father. Andrew, can we say that you're one more sad? time? Because you're sad. If you have children and you kill yourself, you are never a man to begin with. Mm. Absolute garbage. Fact. Garbage. And, and the only reason this crap happens is because of the acceptance of depression. People say that depression is stigmatized. It's the complete opposite. It's accepted now to the point where it's almost promoted. It's insane. Let me tell you something. Depression is not real. Feeling depressed is real mm, so you can difference. feel you can feel depressed but you feel depressed and that is a natural biological evolutionary trigger for you to change something in your life that's that's your own mind telling you you're unhappy about X. If I went to jail today, I'd be depressed because I'm in jail. Right. I haven't caught depression. I don't have a disease. I'm just upset with my situation. Yep. I have people mess with me all the time. I'm fat and I can't get a girlfriend because I'm depressed. I'm like, no, pancake lover. <laughs> <laughs> you're depressed because you're fat and you can't get a girlfriend. <laughs> Do you understand? This is the point, right? So for a lot of people, your life is depressing. A lot of you out there, if you're sitting there and you say you've suffered from depression, you probably live a depressing life. You probably live a depressing life. So if I was you, I'd be depressed. But if you were me, you'd be happy. Do you know what could solve depression for most poor people? A million dollars, million dollars. in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. So how is it a disease? So when I say this to people, most of them agree and they go, okay, but if that's true, why do famous people kill themselves? And I say, well, I know you think you outsmarted me, but I'm Andrew Tate. <laughs> And I have the answer. <laughs> the reason is twofold. This absolute acceptance of depression and acceptance of weakness. When you accept anything, to a degree you're promoting it. Weakness is promoted now in men, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's take Robin Williams as an example. Robin Williams killed himself. I was right? just gonna say him. Yeah. Robin Williams, right? Famous, he can be banging 19 year olds for the rest of his life, multi-millionaire, <laughs> everyone loves him. How could he possibly kill himself? I'll tell you why. Because when he walked into the therapist's office and said, I feel depressed, the therapist said, okay, here's some mind altering drugs. Start taking these for the next 10 years. He was in ther therapy for 10 years. Oh, Damn. God. If I had to take mind altering drugs and talk about sad shit for six hours a day for 10 years, I'd kill myself. <laughs> But if he would have walked into the therapist office and the therapist said to him, you're Robin Williams. There are people in the world with no food. Yeah, there facts. are families in Syria. I say this there every are time. school buses being bombed in Yemen. There are people who lost their entire family in a car crash today. You're Robin Williams and everyone you love is in perfect health. You're a selfish idiot. Get out of my office. Get some ball. Bam. He'd still be alive today. The cure made it worse. And this whole society of accepting depression, as soon as someone's depressed, instantly go to them Oh, poor you. It's okay. We know you can't help it. You can't help it. Why are you telling people they can't help it? Why are you reinforcing that mindset in people? If you come to me and say you're depressed, I say, I will fix you. You're, and you know what's crazy? When I said this depression thing wasn't real, mm -hmm. do you know how many people stuck up for depression? You don't understand. I'm depressed. Depression's real. I was like, if it's so horrible, why are you defending it? You sound like it's a PR team. <laughs> why, like, what? I thought it was ruining your life, but you are desperate for me to believe in it. You want me to believe in it. You're sticking up for it. You're defending depression. Yeah. Trying to convince me it's real because it's your cure all excuse for failure. When you're depressed, you can fail in every human metric. I fail at every Thing, but I'm depressed. It's not my fault. No, you're a failure. That's all you are because you're not trying very hard. If you live in a house, I say this all the time. This is the reason I don't believe in depression because I don't believe in depression. I cannot become depressed. Yeah. No matter what the worst thing that could possibly happen to me on earth, I will feel sad, but I will recover and I will not become depressed because I don't believe in depression. If you're in an old haunted house, haunted house, right? You have two people in two haunted houses. One believes in ghosts and one doesn't. You hear some noise in the night. The wind blows, right? Phew. The man who believes in ghosts is like, oh no, a ghost. Now he's scared, right? right? He wants an exorcist. He start, he can't sleep. He's scared about ghosts. He's paranoid. Did a, the guy who doesn't believe in ghosts goes wind, whatever, and goes back to sleep. Do you understand that it's the belief that gives it power? Right. If you don't believe in ghosts, the ghosts can't hurt you. If you don't believe in depression, you can't become depressed. And I refuse to believe in something that's going to weaken me. Why would I believe in something that's going to weaken my ability to deal with problems in life? Why would I do that? I'm temporarily immortal. Do you understand? 
Do you understand? Yeah. I'm temporarily immortal, and I'm not going to waste my living years believing in things which take power from me. Because mm -hmm. I'm not an idiot. So if you're going to sit there and go, depression is real, actually, you don't understand the problems I'm going through. You're a moron. You are a moron. And the great thing about morons is, as you lose, there's no light without dark, right? Mm -hmm. there's, there's no joy without pain. Of course. For me to be a winner, I need to, there needs to be losers. <laughs> if you want to be depressed <laughs> and oh sit around God. broke while I'm flexing in the Lambo, Simps. then do it. Go do it. But, but you're not going to convince me to join your way of thinking. The last thing, anyone who's watching this, I want you to understand. The last thing you should ever do is adopt the thinking of someone who is sad. Man. Why would you want to think like the sad person? I'm sad and I'm semi-suicidal. You should have the same views and beliefs as me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. No, Depression. Damn. It ain't real. There. I've just blown out of the water. It's not real. You can come at me and say whatever you want. It's not real. Yo, I need some more vodka. I need some more vodka. Hey, let's get, let's get some, Let me get some vodka. Vodka, vodka cranberry, bro. I'll say, I'll say this, house. man. Matt, <laughs> Andrew Tate in the house, guys. I I said it too, man, especially as a man, mm. your accomplishments, right, from your competence creates confidence. Yep. Most of the time, these guys that are depressed, it's because they haven't accomplished anything. They're well, sitting at home crying. You're depressed because your life's depressing. You wake up, you're fat, you're lonely, Facts. you go to the fridge, there's no milk. Ah, I can't even have Cheerios. That's it. I'm depressed. Of course. Yo. That's because you're living a depressing lifestyle. If you woke up sexy like me, you'd be okay. <laughs> But this is the thing, as a man, you need to build your value. This has all been discussed a million times before. All the things I have are things I've got myself. If you have nothing worth having, you're gonna live a depressing life. I don't believe in depression. I refuse to believe in depression. It is not real. Bro, I've been there at a point where, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not like the best looking dude. Yeah. I know that. I'm not like the, the best in shape guy. Yeah. But at some point, you know what? I have to improve, improve my life. Yeah. And maybe hitting my goals, you know what I'm saying? Making more money. That made me get, get confidence. Yeah. And that alone took me out of that state. And I didn't stay in that state. That's very important what you said. Yeah. So. yeah feeling depressed is real. This yeah. is what people can get confused. You can sometimes feel depressed. Depressed, but you do not have an imaginary disease called depression. You just need to change something. Why am I surrounded by ninjas? 